let's talk about these other spider girls and spider women uh so first off i'm 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 where where we at spoiler alert um nobody had any goddamn powers in this movie (laughs) no this was not a superhero movie and let me let me stress the trailer where you saw them all in their spider girl that was it that was it it. there was no more if you're a comic book fan the way they dealt with ezekiel was complete trash and this is from one of the best his characters from one of the best runs in the spider-man amazing spider-man specifically by uh strasinski uh and his backstory was fantastic and they just none of that mattered none of it mattered in this movie um to give him a spider-man like costume when there's not been a movie with the exception of the spider-verse with uh Miles Morales, both one and two, that has no other Spider-Man existing, and they're trying to kick this off, and then to put him in a Spider-Man outfit, but then nobody remembers this guy when real Spider-Men show up, no matter which timeline you're trying to be in. And well, but you- but even but even back in the sixties or seventies, and whenever she was in the jungle, her mom, mm-hmm. when all this kicked off, even those characters, yeah. you know, even those people had Spider-Man like costumes, which-, which I thought was just like. Yeah, it's crazy. I was like, I don't know the history. I don't know the comic book part version of these these events. It's, but I thought it was. I thought that was very weird. To it might not. Okay, let me let me take that back. It might not have been weird that they had the costume on. Mm-hmm. It would be weird to me that uh, Peter Parker, who knows nothing about these people, would have then created a suit that looked very mm-hmm. similar. You see what I'm saying? Yep. To and these so, these people in a jungle in Peru or whatever, wherever and it, it was at, comes from the bad execution of how they used Ezekiel. The whole point of Ezekiel in the comic book was is he they introduced the theory of totems mm-hmm. and saying each animal has a totem and there are certain people that are chosen in their generation to represent, right? And I'm trying to do this as broad brace as I can. I'm not trying to turn this into a Buffy the Slayer, or Vampire Slayer, or anything else like that. But the totems were representative. And so the reason he sought out Parker wasn't to do what he was doing in this movie, which was kill everyone. He was searching him out because he was like, I am trying to offer you a way to survive what's coming next. He goes, and basically it's this creature who looks like a man, but he goes around feeding off the power of those that belong to the totem. Mm -hmm. And so the whole point of that was trying to say, you know, like, well, he's Spider-Man. So of course he's part of the totem. He's accidental Spider-Man because in the comic books, it wasn't genetic engineering or tampering it wasn't a super spider it was the radioactiveness of his blood plus the spiders what gave him his powers yeah, it was, so it was, it was it was more of a, a man-made mutation you got versus an ancient power right so he was never considered a pure totem and that's how they eventually discover how to beat this villain but ezekiel was never meant to be he he was not going to seek out 16 year old teenagers and kill them so they didn't kill him first well and to, and to a certain extent outside of what happened with the mom yeah if mm-hmm. you just look at the if you if you take out the jungle scenes and just look at mm-hmm. the He's, present day i don't know necessarily that he was a bad guy he was scared for his life and right. he he thought this was the only way he so could he, he was having it. these visions that he that these mm-hmm. girls were going to murder him which so he was like f that i'm gonna go out and find him yeah. first and take care of him which yeah. also not really part of his powers. <laughs> like, now, that, I think oh, that visions that, and stuff? No. that might have been the only part of the story that I actually liked was mm-hmm. the fact that you had these visions of them killing you, but it, it all had to do with the fact that you were preemptively trying yeah. to go out and kill them. Yeah. So you were basically you, you were creating your own you create, death. Yeah. You created your own death because yeah. because of your time and blah blah blah. Yeah. How all this all was. So it's it, it's inevitable that these girls will kill you. Yeah. But you you think it's just because they're going to kill you, but really you're creating your own death. The that's the only thing that I liked about this. The movie. Terminator theory timeline. Basically, you're oh. always meant to do this. They were always meant to do that type of thing. Yeah. Stein, Steiner's Gate. You, no matter what happens, old girl is going. Old yeah. girl is going to die. Yeah, right. Spoilers. You, you throw mm-hmm. a you, you throw a stone into a river. There's always a pattern. It may change, but it'll eventually go back into the normal flow or stream of of thing. Or yeah. in this case, time. Um, I, I really want to say the, how I would redo this movie, but I don't either because what would it matter? It's not going to matter. It's not going to change anything. 
Um, bless you. Uh, it was Oda coming at me. I know. Uh, no, she wouldn't call. She wouldn't come after you for calling her movie crap. She would say it herself. No, she coming after me like, uh, hey, yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You want an autograph? <laughs> I can give you six words. You got some but handcuffs? The seventh word. Right. I'll, I'll autograph yeah. some handcuffs for hey, you. Hey, you can keep those socks on? Um, <laughs> um, this this movie was trash. It was just, there's nothing redeeming about it. I don't want to watch this again. I'm not kidding when I say I literally we watched some other movies that I thought I might have been too harsh on. What what about um, what about the part where she left the the girls multiple times she just left these girls alone because the guy was trying to kill her somehow she can see into the future so she was like saving these girls right so time after time after time you kept leaving these girls alone to -hmm. just fend for themselves or leaving them with the parks and rec guy right or adam scott i do um, love him um and then just like oh well you need to go to peru right oh my god and how did she know where to go? And, You're in the middle of a jungle. And, and, and my thing is, all this advanced technology that, that that the guy seems to have with his assistant villain mm-hmm. girl, whatever she was doing, what, how, how did you get on this plane without it sending off signals to her big supercomputer? How did, how did, how did airport. you, how did oh, airport security, credit card, something yep. like how, how did you just like, Oh, I'm going to Peru all of a sudden, uh, pack my bags y'all. You take care of these girls. She, she is the least caring about humanity. EMT I have ever seen put on film mm. as a response worker. Shouldn't you have a little bit of like, you know, I probably should do more than just leaving these girls in the woods where I have no idea where we're at. Or at a random motel. Not even like random a random nice hotel. Yeah. Not a motel with one chain, you know, yeah. keeping them I'm, safe from the evil guy. I'm sure they won't be sex trafficked at all if someone goes in there. Like it, uh, The I, lack I, of common sense in this movie was surprising. I, I think the two most annoying parts to, were, yes, when she just randomly goes to Peru. Yeah. Like, I just, I'm just going to go. And you just end up in the middle of this jungle. Like, how yep. in the world did mm-hmm. you even know exactly where to go? Well, she had the book. This little book that yeah. obviously led everywhere. I mean, she had the little map drawn. So it's And then yeah. somehow you get back right in time for all this other chaos to ensue. Well, and then when you get back, how many times did she, like, hit, hit old boy with a car? some sort of vehicle the, the three la- i don't and then the last time when she hit him with the ambulance what exactly did she drive off of she just oh drove yeah off of something and just flew right into uh, him with the ambulance i'm like well, you uh, were on a street she uh, and now I, you bust through a building i believe it was a mcguffin she drew drove over because i was just I like know. what what is going on but yeah the part with the i'm i you you have to go to peru um, and then, then like I was like no no way right and then very next scene jungle forest she's in Peru it'd be different if she was dr- going to like the main capital in Peru like you flew into the like you know and she yeah. the, okay you're here I can't even think what Lisbon what's Peru what I don't know what's in Peru I don't know. but anyway no no no, no not just like this airport of the major of the country you're in the literally the middle of a jungle Mm-hmm. Where there, there's nobody, that nobody lives there, right? Except for How these. But immediately the one there. guy that goes, "I know who you are," right? How? It I was don't even know so who she is. Ridiculous! It was just like, yeah. So I, I don't know what to do with the girls because, and I don't know all the ages of all these girls in real life, but I don't know if it would have been better to get real teenage girls to play these parts. Generally speaking, because generally speaking, I don't like kid actors, mm-hmm. even even to a certain extent even teenagers like i just i just don't like them right but this grown some grown people trying to act like high school girls it, it just they didn't pull it off at all oh and, and a quick upskirt shot of one of them as they're coming out of the subway i'm like if these are supposed to be 16 year olds you know what you shouldn't be doing right you know like don't do that don't yeah. don't be a pervert. I didn't yeah. even realize one of them was Sydney Sweeney, which I don't yeah. know who Sydney Sweeney. Like I know who she is, but I don't know anything about her. I just feel like I've been seeing her more and more. Mm-hmm. But she, I, I, I don't know. It was just awful. Everything was bad. 